Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to solve the homogeneous recurrence relations in which the auxiliary equation has uh, repeated roots. Now, what is an auxiliary equation? Uh, when we substitute the sequence a n equal to r raised to n, then we get a quadratic equation or we get a cubic equation depending on how the recurrence relation. That equation will be termed as what? That equation will be termed as an auxiliary equation, which I'm going to write as a e. A e stands for the auxiliary equation okay so let me uh, write if the roots so let, let's just write a note over here so note if the root of auxiliary equation are repeated say r1 uh, r comma r okay these are the roots okay then the recurrence relation solution we are going to write in the form of a n is equal to instead of writing c1 r raised to n and c2 r raised to n because uh, if they are r1 and r2 we will write c1 r1 raised to n plus c2 r2 raised to n but here you have both the things same so in that case, what will I do in this linear combination? I will not write C2 R raised to N, but instead of writing C2 R raised to N, I will write down C2 into N times R raised to N. So this in that case uh, becomes the solution of that recurrence relation. Suppose the root is repeated thrice. Okay, root, uh, root repeats three times, say R, R and R. Then in that case, the auxiliary equation, the solution will be written what C1 R raised to N, C2 N R raised to N, and C3 N square R raised to N. Okay, so this is a fashion. I will increase the power of N. Okay, if it is four times, then I will write C1, C2, C3, C4, then R raised to N, N R raised to N, N square R raised to N, N cube R raised to N. Okay. So this will be the method to, to solve the uh, recurrence relations with auxiliary equation having repeated roots. So let us quickly look at one simple problem. So suppose I'm having the recurrence relation a n is equal to 4 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2. Okay, and the initial conditions are a not equal to one, and a one is equal to how much? A one is equal to four. So how I'm going to solve this recurrence relation? So the solution will be, I will put a n equal to r raised to n as our initial guess, right? Then this will be r raised to n is equal to four r raised to n minus one minus four r raised to n minus 2 when i divide it by r raised to n minus 2 i'm doing in the same steps to avoid lengthy calculations then i will get r square is equal to 4 r minus 4 and therefore i will get r square minus 4 r plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is called what this will be called as auxiliary equation okay so i will factorize it and this will become r minus 2 into r minus 2 and therefore the roots of the auxiliary equation have now come up to be 2 and 2 and they are what they are repeated roots okay and in this case my solution for the recurrence relation in general is c1 2 raised to n plus c2 n into 2 raised to n okay this is the general solution and now we will find what we will find the values of c1 and c2 so i will use the initial condition the first initial condition was a not equal to 1 so I will put n equal to 0 in the above equation and then I will get a naught is equal to put n equal to 0 c1 into 2 raised to 0 
plus C2 into 0 into 2 raised to 0. So this term actually goes away because there is a 0. So this means that A0 is 1 is equal to C1. So I got the value of C1 directly because 2 raised to 0 is how much? 2 raised to 0 is 1. Now I will put in the second condition. The second condition says A2 is equal to A1 is equal to 4. Sorry. A1 is equal to 4. So put N equal to 1 in the above general equation. So I will get A1 is equal to C1 into 2 raised to 1 plus C2 into 1 into 2 raised to 1. And therefore, this gives me A1 is how much? 4 is equal to C1 into 2, which is 2C1 plus 2C2. Okay. So when I put C1 value is equal to 1, I will get 4 equal to 2 plus 2C2. Why? Because C1 is how much? C1 is 1. So this will be 4 equal to 2 plus 2C2. So this will mean 2 is equal to 2C2. And this will mean that the value of C2 will come up to be 1. Okay, and therefore I will substitute C1 equal to 1 and C2 equal to 1 in the general solution. Okay, so substituting we get An is equal to, what is An equal to? C1 into 2 raised to N plus C2 N into 2 raised to N. So you put C1 and C2 1, you will get An is equal to 2 raised to n plus n into 2 raised to n, which you can also write it as 2 raised to n into n plus 1. It is up to us whether to write it in the simplified form. So this becomes the solution of the given recurrence relation.